Hello gang, GMAP14 here. Uh, this is going to be my review slash uh, how-to guide with uh, Google Hangouts, which was just released today. I was looking and see if there's any videos. All there is is the commercials for Google. So hopefully this will give you some how-to guides and how to use it. One step that you might need to know about uh, to get it onto your phone, since it's very strange. The only way to get on there is to go to your computer, go to the Google Play Store online version, and go and search for Hangouts. The icon looks like this little green speech bubble up in the left-hand corner right there. And you will click on that and click Install and then select which device. That is the only way in to install it to that device at the moment. Otherwise, uh, you cannot install it because it says it's already installed because it replaces Google Talk and it thinks that Google Talk on your phone is already updated, yada yada. Confusing. So that's the best way to do that. So, uh, and to get it on your Nexus 7, they uh, have not allowed it to be on there yet for some strange reason. So the best way to get it onto your Nexus 7 is to sideload the APK or just wait. On the tablet version, it has the two pane, as you noticed, different overlay. And on the phone, it's a little different. So if you turn it this way, you can see like so. So, uh, also released today for Google Hangouts is the... <coughs> this over here, if it will autofocus for me. The Chrome extension, since, uh, yeah, it's not autofocusing, but there you go, it's got the little icon at the bottom right there, Chrome extension, and if you go to Google Chrome, you'll see up there at the top is the green bubble. If I can get it to, uh, okay, well, it does not want to work, but yeah, and then it pops up like this at the bottom, like multiple windows, and it shows you send message to, hang out, so it's just like the, uh, chat extension that was available for Chrome for forever, so nothing awful much changed there. Uh, this is replaces Google Talk, pretty much. There is no SMS integration or uh, so far, but it does ask you to make sure this is your phone with by sending it a text verification code. This works with iOS as well, so if you have an iPhone, it works great. Uh, it pretty much works across all, so it's kind of like Google Plus was, but more stable, I'd say. Uh, so let's get started. I was going to do a video chat example, but I cannot do that because this phone right here, I this is the second time recording this video. The phone canceled it out of the camera when I tried to do that. But for example, I'll show you. Here's a chat with my dad over here. It shows you all of this stuff right here. It shows you what you're doing, lets you send a picture, emoticon, all this stuff. And you can start a video chat by tapping up there. Uh, it's really simple, not too much going on. If you swipe over here and then click the plus, it'll take you back to your quick call. You can type a name, email, number, or circle, and these are your contacts. And these are your most recent calls, I guess, or something like that. And these you would tap on multiple people, and then it adds them to the top, and then you would just select video call or message all these people. So you can easily quick create a quick little group with just multiple people like so. Um, the phone's inter interface looks exactly the same, uh, except, you know, it's not the two pane unless you're over here like this, like so. So, I much prefer the phone's UI, but they're exactly the same almost, so, you know, no big, huge difference. Uh, Google Hangouts is what this is called. It does not have a web UI yet, so you cannot go on the computer and just use it. You have to use Google+, Plus. so there's they're probably coming out with that pretty soon. Uh, other than that... That is what Google Hangouts is. It's a quick messaging app that works across devices. One problem, real fast, let me say, uh, if you get a call on here, it will mess it up on the Nexus 7 or your phone. What will happen is uh, if you get a f Hangout request, it will open up the Google Plus app and the Hangout app and have two answering things like it'll show one will show a card saying answer and the other one will have a little swipe answer from Google Plus. So two apps will try to get you to answer that call once and that messes it up and it won't let you answer it. So you're gonna have to go, for the moment, they might fix this, go into Google Plus App Settings, and then you're gonna have to press this little three key and click Settings, and then you're going to have to click uh, Hangouts, and then Hangout Notifications, uncheck that. This is in Google Plus, you're gonna have to do this. So, then you should be fine. I want to see some new features, such as when you pull it down, you can reply for messages inside the notification bar, which should be fairly easy for Google to do. And uh, I just want to see phone calls and all this stuff, stuff everyone else wants to see. So once again, here is my my uh, 
review slash walkthrough slash, slash first look at Google Hangouts. Please like, subscribe, comment, and any other stuff you want to do. Adios.